Gentlemen. Boys and girls. Cats and dogs. Welcome to In the Mix. Yeah! I'm Stuart. And I'm Jared. We hope you're all doing fine. I'm sure you are. Coming up on today's show, we've got Cruelest, uh, Billy Bob Springer, Pennsylvania Jones, Dutch Cookery, and many more. So let's start straight away with Cruelest. That was great. Darling, I have some news. Ah, Laura. Mwah, mwah. Yeah. So the person I wanted to see hits the hair. It's so brand new. No, it's gorgeous. It's about the new Die Hard. I got it, didn't I? I knew it. It's the face. Not quite. They don't want you. They say you're not macho enough. Macho. Sean, sure, macho. I'm going down there. Jose, come and open the door. Get my towel. The gallery door shut as well. I guess we're stuck in here. We can't be stuck. I've got a brunch appointment with Jude Law. Yeah, Jude Law. I bet you think he's matching. Yeah. What's that noise? Excuse me, it's my phone. Hello? Oh, hi, Jude. Sorry about lunch. Yeah, I've got a phone. And you didn't tell us about it. I've got to call my stylist and cancel my appointment. Well, wouldn't it be better to phone for help? Well, I suppose you've done that. Damn, there's no reception. Put it. Take the phone. Get a reception. Now. <sighs> Not much, Elmer. Well, watch this. Are we so strong and sexy on much, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's it. Can't you keep his cock in his trousers for two minutes? Oh, yeah. oh. I know, Laura. It's such a suck-up. Oh, 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 yeah. Have you got a reception yet? No, do you want to have a go? Oh. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm hungry. Me too. Me free. I'm on a diet. Make me some food, please. There is none. There is none, sir. <coughs> We've got to eat something. You're joking, right? You can't be that hungry. Sorry, Neil, but I can't eat Laura, she's my agent. And I can't eat Pudsy, because she makes my coffee. Well, you can't eat me, I'm the cameraman. But I'm famous. Get him, Pudsy! <laughs> oh, my hair! 
Yeah, it's anyway. Mm. Right, we can make a film, right? And, and I could be the star. Yeah, and Julie Roberts could play me. No, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah. And Jennifer Stewart could play me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. It's not done ten. <laughs> oh, you so funny. Got money left in here. <sighs> Credit cards and everything. Yeah. Billy Bob Springer show. No, it's not. Hello and welcome to Billy Bob Springer. Um, today we've got some country folk with um, a little problem, a family problem, I think it is. Uh, first, we'll talk to our first guest, which is Earl. Hello, Earl. Uh, hello there, Billy Bob. Uh, why do you think you're on the show today? Then? Well, I, 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 I don't know, Billy Bob. I've just been called here by my wife, Ulrika, who said to me, Earl, we've got to go on the Billy Bob show. And I said, Well, well, Rika, that sounds like a good thing to do, because I'm a big fan of your show, Billy Bob, but I, I don't know why we're here. Okay, then, um, let's bring her out. Is it Ulrika? That's right. Let's bring her out. Hi, Hi, girl. How are you? Hi, girl. How are you? Hi, girl. How are you? Hi, um, so is it, why have you brought Earl here today? I have a secret to tell him. What, what is this secret? I've been having an affair. An affair? Yes. Oh, it's, my God. Is that why every night you say you have to go to the cattle ship for four hours? <laughs> no, I really have to go. Oh. <laughs> no, but I have been having an affair, and it's been with your brother. My brother? Oh. Yes. Which one of my brother? My brother's my cousin? Yes. Oh, my Lord. Let's bring him out. You man, you I pray a lot of shit. I know. Leave her alone. That's my wife. You're supposed to be my brother you're my and brother. my cousin. You're still my cousin. Yeah, so but you're my brother too. Just because you're my dad as well. Hello? I'm Billy Bob Springer. Two guys are knocking off the same bed. Boring. Bye. I have another uh, secret oh. to tell you as well. Oh what? My God. You see? What else? What else? What else could be worse? I'm really a man. Oh my oh God. God. God! That's why you only show me your boobs, then, yeah? Well, yeah I wonder why you had hairy nipples. Leave <laughs> my nipples out of this. All those damn hair bones that I got. Sure as hell went worth it. <laughs> can I just, uh, don't get along, Carl. We can still no, we can't. Can I just it. check, um, are you going home with anyone? I think I'm going to go home with him. I'm going to go home with him. Your family? We got our sister waiting for us back at the home. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have a little, uh, spit roast. We're going to keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you mean chicken? Uh, no, I mean a pig. Oh, okay. 
Right, and that's all we've got time for today's show. Um, just like to finish this today by saying, don't trust anyone in a way, a blonde wig. And um, never trust your family, you know, they can just stab you in the back. Take care of yourself and each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, and welcome to Stuart Fix It. This week, our letter has come from Erica Moore, so let's bring her on. Hiya. Hiya, Stuart. Hi, Erica's wish was to be a presenter. This is a video that she sent in for her request. My name is Erica. I originate from China. I'm currently studying media in Sheffield. I have dreamed all my life of becoming a presenter. I hope that soon my dream comes true. Here, I'm in a television studio. Well, I can't believe it. I'm finally here. It is the television studio. Well. Amazing. Look at these equipments. It's quite professional. Just say uh, hello, welcome to the Kish Kish the Toast oh, Gang. I want to thank Stuart Box to give me a give me a chance to stay in here. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, hello, welcome to the sorry. Um, I got it. Uh, hello. Oh. Hello. Welcome to the Kiss the Toaster show. Um, it's Erica here. Uh, thanks, Stuart Box, to to give me a chance to to stand in here. Oh, sorry. Could I do it again? I'm so excited. It's my big chance to make my dream come true. Hello everyone. This is this is Count Up. I am the presenter, Erica. Uh, our first contestant is Dave. And our second contestant is Joe. Here, uh, somebody's help us is Matt. I am a tua. Right. Let's go on with the first round. And your letter is R B U G R. S G E F Okay, your time is off. <clears throat> All right, Dave. Can I have your word, please? Cheese. Mm. Can I have you your can't... word, please, Drew? Um, bugger. Well, you can't actually have cheese. Right. So, Matt, uh, what are the scores? Well, June mm -hmm. is winning because he got buggers, was it? Oh, oh just bugger. I couldn't just get bugs. that. Couldn't you? Yeah. Did you see that? Oh, I couldn't see that, no. So, we'll start. One, two, three. <coughs> That's five or something, or six, I don't know. Six. Next round. Right. Here are your second letters. Which are T, E, R, U, K, C, L, F, and R. Time start. Uh, 
I don't think that's actually a word. Oh. You're not very good at this game, are you? No. Even though you've got the answers right there as well. Yeah. Fucker. Fucker. Mm. Not a proposition by any means. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to say. Well, not right now, anyway. Yeah, later. <laughs> June, you are a frisky one. Now, uh, let's on to the round three, numbers game. The target is 324 and you've got to do it with 50, 2, 6, 5, 1 and 5. Six equals three hundred plus well done. five times by five equals twenty-five, equaling two hundred twenty-five. The minus the one that's two hundred twenty-four. No, that's wrong. <laughs> How dare you say? Wrong. Prove it. Disprove it. It's, it's written down right here. Right. So you've been cheating then. So you can't get any points from that. So, so uh, Dave gets points for this round. What a bleedy. Now here is the count up anagram. Anagram. What? Thank you, everybody. I'll show you now. I'll give you back to Stuart. Thanks. Don't guilt your day job. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Now entertainment news and Destiny's Child have hit the top yet again with their new single. Dead. You can't kill me. Why not? I'm your father. Why not? You can't be my father. I'm taller than you. Hi, guys. Hi. Prepare to feel the icy cold spit of death. I'm not so famous. We're now going to hand over to Pennsylvania Jones. Looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind, but he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young man sawing on a fiddle and playing it hot, and the devil jumped up on a hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you'd care to take a dare, I'll make it. You filming yet? Yep. All oh, right. G'day, I'm Pennsylvania Jones. Today we're in the uh, outback of Peru. We're looking for the lost city of Lynchenstein. We're going to be uh, searching around for people and uh, different artifacts and stuff. Lots of people have been here, but no one's ever returned. So uh, let's go. If you look down there, you can see some indigenous people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See them? They're a whole race of women. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Race of women, that's what I can't see, man. 
Now, well, let's go into the bush. Come down here. We can, uh, we should be able to see something strange. The cameraman dies there, follows me around that. There's people, but I can't seem to find anything whatsoever. What is that thing? Where? There! Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow! You come closer. This is what the indigenous people know as a totem pole. Oh, yeah. They often pray to it. Wow, wow. You, uh, you see the stuff at the top there? It's, uh, it's like a drug they use, right? And uh, the elders use it when they get a bit old. It's a bit like Viagra, but ten times better. That's what I was heard anyway. Oh, uh, wow. It's really something. This hasn't been seen for, for ages. <laughs> I don't know what they mean. Hello? Yeah! I'm in the outback of Peru! Yeah! It's boring! What right. is it? I don't know what that is. Jeez. I don't know. Let's, let's move on. Are you keeping up with me again? Jeez. Yeah, I can't see anything. There's absolutely nothing there. Oh, wait! <laughs> Sorry, I fell in. You alright, Dave? No. Right, I thought I saw a rare squirrel mating. <laughs> right, it's just a tree. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right, it's a little uh, crevice down there. Uh, that could be a home of indigenous people. I mean, uh, that could be like what they know for uh, a house. Just a bloody hole. Oh, look. quick. Spring. Obviously, been someone here before. That's yours. All oh, right. Oh, well. Uh, still looking around. I mean, uh, don't seem to find anything. There's some, uh, fine, uh, footprints and stuff like that. I mean, can't see anything. Hold up. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Keep, oh, man! I've got him! Wait, oh, wait. This is bloody brilliant! Where'd you go? Yeah, man. We, uh... I'm gonna fall man. You've gotta be careful, man. You might hear us a lot. Oh, you saw me there. <coughs> I don't think you've seen me. If you notice there, that's using uh, an ancient trick I picked up in that uh, Egypt there. Uh, that's a hard, uh, pretend to be a tree. Yeah, very useful when you're out. Uh, oh, Is there trees in Egypt? I think there were, yeah. I'm going to try and uh, approach you from behind. Got to be careful. Can you lure him out, Tor? Uh, what? Lure him out? Oh, yeah. I had to move We can try and get attention. I think you might have seen me. I'm gonna pop out and see if you can see me. See him? I don't think you've seen us yet. Let's see if you can see him again. Can I help Watch you? Out. Hello? Can I help you, mate? Oh, where? He's trying to speak our uh, incredibly weird language that we've never seen before. It's kind of making me tired. What are you on about? Do you speak English? English? I am English. Where are oh. you from? See, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on. I can't get any sense out of him. 
Where is your house? It's in Birmingham. That Birmingham? Yeah. Where's that Birmingham? Yeah, that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, Mum. What, what the, the hell is that? I think I'll just come back. So, what, you, you live here? In the forest? No, I've just come through a walk, mate. I'm a shop assistant from Birmingham. I just came through the wall, comes a bit sore, I hope, so I just thought, well, might as well come out of a wall, because you do. So, you're not, you're not indigenous? No, I'm not indigenous, no. I'm not indigenous. I'm infertile, but I'm not indigenous. Oh, right. Right. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna go now. Quick. All right. I think I found something in the undergrowth. Don't see it anywhere, though. See. Oh, wow, there. Look, I think it might. I'm going to get close and really piss him off. Right! Expect me! I've been from the same time. You know, these sunglasses, they protect me from, uh, you know, any uh, dangerous uh, things. A bit of... This. Oh, <laughs> oh, right, Dave! I know you was. Look, you bloody hell! Jesus Christ! Dave! Dave! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, like a rabid dinger. Get away! Oh. Oh, Jesus, I think I've got some woman. Stop feeling. Great, see? You nearly got me there. See, it's close, man. Oh, jeez. See, I could have taken my eyes out or something, you know? I might have gone deaf. Scary. I think I thought. Can you hear that? I think it's bad, look. Jesus Christ, you again. What the hell are you doing? But I ain't having cigarettes. Oh, they look like silly Englishman from Germany. Jesus Christ. Silly man. Why did this country come to? Fucking <laughs> perseverance, that's what it's all about. Right? Just gonna carry on looking, so I'm not find anything yet. Well, you know, if I'm looking for something while I'm at work, I'll go upstairs, pull the trousers down, pull the oh, pants down. Come here, come here. Look. Oh, wow. Look at that, man. Well, it's a. Uh, Ancient uh, science civilization. It's not a twig. Looks like a twig to me, mate. What the hell do you know? Maybe to the untrained eye, it might look like a twig. Well, what are you then? What's the am I? You, God, yes. I've got two sassies from the outback. I've got eye levels from the bush. And I've got a degree from the University of Life. Well, that's not very much, really, is it? Hey, don't be bloody cheeky with me. I'm more than Dave, mate. That's all that counts. Actually, I've got a degree from the Philharmonic Institute of Sydney. Well, what are you working for this plunk of all in? I love him. Dave! Damn it! I told you not to talk about that, just because your wife bloody left you. You know? You just don't, don't love me anymore, right? You are a bit of a gay icon, though. Why? Right? No, no, shut up! He is a gay icon, don't you think, Dave? It's that beard, it's so shut up, cute. Shut up, Dave! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Dave's just relieving himself over there. Oh, over there. I think he's being attacked, amigo. Attacked? Attacked? What, you gonna... attacked? He's being attacked! Jesus Christ! No! Man. Find Where is he? Dad, you okay? Dad? Jesus I Christ, Dad, what are you doing? Dad, you are done, but you make noise. Jesus Christ. Can't show that on the bloody television, can I? I know your wife left you, but don't resort to masturbation. Wait, I'm pissed off. My cameraman loves me. I'm supposedly a gay icon. Jesus Christ, man. I mean... My wife's sleeping with Cliff Richards and Terry Wogan. I'm a son like Craig Bloody David. It doesn't get any worse than this. So, uh, this is me signing off. Bye, folks. Now it's Dutch Cookery with my long lost brother. Hello, now then, Amsterdam. The town of liberalism, museums, bikes, other stuff like that, coffee shops. Um, also known for its cooking, special kind of cooking though, of course. Uh, I'm here today to show you some of that cooking, and I've got my lovely assistant who is uh, on the run from his uh, manager. Yes. <laughs> and I'll be managing him for his uh, brief stay in Britain. Now then, uh, today we're skipping to the dessert and we're going to be cooking some space cakes. Now, the main ingredient for these is, of course, cannabis, but uh, things are in England, yeah, you can't uh, use that, so we've got another ingredient, which is nutmeg. Um, okay then, so, uh, <laughs> so the ingredients are, let me have a look at my little list here, 100 grams of butter, 
a 100 grams of plain chocolate, the rest of which I will be eating, 100 grams of soft brown sugar, and one egg, and two kilos of nutmeg, which my system will grind into a fine powder with its feet. You pimpin' king segment anymore, bitch! I, this girl Pandora, I'm your. Now then, so, uh, hmm. and I will reward you handsomely for your services. Uh, nothing, nothing. Yes, so uh, let's just start uh, cooking this, then, shall we? As it's, uh, I'm not going to actually make it today, so uh, I'll be showing you the way we do it. And uh, thing. There we go. Um, yes. La la la. Here's the butter. It's called butter because uh, it's made in Butterville, which is a place near Germany. Um, it's a lovely place. They uh, make some cars there. They call the cars butter cars. They've not got great handling, but it's a bit like butter. Um, now then, this is flour. It's called flour because uh, that's who invented it. And here we have an egg. I'm not going to break that because it's dirty. Now then, so uh, I'll start mixing it up and uh, I can't be bothered anymore. So if you want to carry that on, and uh, yes. So if you, <laughs> if you missed this recipe, you can find it on uh, my website, which is www.britainneedmoredutchpimps.com. Right then, I've, uh, I put some uh, in the oven earlier, so uh, let's see if they're ready. Yes, they appear to be ready, so uh, let's have a look at these then, shall we? They look quite nice, don't they? Look very nice indeed, yes. Very, very nice. Why aren't you wearing your open clothes? What? <laughs> now it's Pennsylvania Gym. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. From me, Stuart Box. And me, Jared. Goodbye. See ya. Bye.